Well, I'm here tonight with my good friends, the producers of With You, The Mark Bingham Story, which is a documentary about the, the life of my son, Mark. With You is the little chant that rugby players give one another as they are advancing the ball up the field. Mark devoted his life to advancing the happiness and joy of other people and I felt very much loved and embraced by my son when he was alive and he he made it a point and it actually his uh, uh, passion in life to to be a solid buddy and friend to his friends and so with you is a, is any is a is a very appropriate title for the movie today governor brown signed the california Fair Education Act, and I understand you sent a letter to Governor Brown encouraging him to uh, sign the bill. Could you explain what was in the letter? I'm so delighted that Jerry Brown has signed the Fair Education Act. It's wonderful news, and I, I simply told the governor that w when Mark was alive, a, f uh, a few months after he came out to me and told me that he was a gay man, he told me, Mom, when I first started to realize that I was gay, I did what you always advised me to do. I went to the school library and researched it. And according to the, all the information I could get from the school library, homosexuals were some kind of, uh, uh, they were perverted people and, and they didn't, he, there was nothing that I could find in the research that was good. And I know. I know that that stuff is slanted and untrue. We need to find out more about gay heroes, gay role models. And it seems such an irony now that Mark, having, having died side by side with men fighting hard for the lives of everybody on board Flight 93 and, and being able to save countless lives on the ground, it's, it's wonderful that it's wonderful to me as a mother to, to realize that he is being considered a hero. And he happened to be a gay man, so he was a gay hero. And, and uh, I just wonder what he would have thought about that. I, I hope that I'm doing what he wants me to do. Certainly you've heard the news about how the FBI is now looking into Rupert Murdoch and there have been allegations that Fox News reporters and, and some of his reporters in England were uh, uh, hacking into cell phones and that specifically they were trying to find out information about families of 9-11 victims. Have you been told anything about this and, and how do you feel hearing this information? Well, I have heard nothing from the FBI, and I am very saddened and horrified by this, uh, these allegations. And uh, it is scary that the that the scandal from News of the World uh, has come over across the Atlantic, and now it's in the United States. Uh, I welcome the FBI investigation. It'll be very interesting to see how things develop. What do you think about airline safety these days? Well, I'm sorry to say that uh, aviation security is still not what it should be. We still are not really safe when we fly. The TSA, for all of its efforts, ha has fallen somewhat short. Uh, we don't have secure cargo. We do not have adequate training, defensive training for uh, airline crews. We do not have a comprehensive no-fly list. And those are three things that are really critical. What was your reaction hearing that Osama bin Laden had been killed? Well. I guess it's sinful to celebrate a death, but I am very grateful, very grateful to the Navy SEALs who, who took that man out. And it was such a fitting uh, counterpoint to the ugliness that he perpetrated on the American people. I, I am grateful to President Obama for making the good decision and to the Navy SEALs for, for mustering the guts to do such a nervy thing and, and uh, ending the life of of a, of a madman.